Today on the workbench, the Tamiya TT-02 is going brushless. So before we go brushless, we want to get a uh, just a baseline speed of the brush system here. So I have a Sky RC uh, GPS speed monitor on here. It's set to peak. You can see here it's at uh, it's at zero. Look, we're not expecting this car to be really fast, but the idea is let's uh, let's just get a baseline and see what it does, and then we'll go from there. So we are going downhill. We are going downhill, but according to this, the car hit 17 miles an hour. So that's 17 miles an hour on a normal uh, battery, not a LiPo, and on the brushed motor that came with it. So let's go and take this guy inside. Let's swap out the motor and the ESC. So let's go take this guy inside. Let's uh, take a look at it. Let's see if we can swap out the motor and the ESC, put in that new hobby wing system, and then let's see how much faster this rally car is. All right, so we're back inside with our Tamiya TT-02 after that little speed run. I mean, it wasn't that fast, but I wasn't expecting it to be. So it hit 17 miles an hour, according to this guy. I set it to peak, did a couple of runs. You guys saw that. That seems, um, seems pretty reasonable. Seems, you know, respectable from the brush system that's in here. Um, but we're going to upgrade it. I have here this amazing hobby wing system. I actually had it in my vintage uh, Team Associated RC10 uh, B2 that's right over there. I bought it, I put that brushless system in there, I ran it like three or four times and I never ran it again. So I said, you know, this system is just taking up space in that buggy. I think I would be better served having this system in this car. Now, I, it does come with um, a really amazing speed control from Tamiya that allows you to you know upgrade to a brushless system but i since i have the hobby wing esc end motor and it's got a temperature gauge and stuff like that i think i'm just going to uh swap the whole thing and i'm going to take out even the um even the tamiya um esc that came in here because i just want to keep the hobby wing with the hobby wing and i will uh i will take that uh tamiya esc and i'm sure i will repurpose it for another build at some time in the future. But in the meantime, I think what we need to do is take a look at this car here, take our amazing new uh, cockpit driver set off. Uh, in case you haven't been keeping up with this build, we just painted and installed this. I'll put a link uh, up there to that video. But this is our Tamiya TT-02. And again, if you haven't, um, if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen uh, what's going on we've done a full kit build on this it's multiple videos you'll see there's a lot of hop-ups and stuff and you know one of the hop-ups that we got was the high-speed gear set and we upgraded the diffs because we really were anticipating at some point going brushless and quite honestly now is that point so it's got the really amazing uh tamiya sport tune motor that came with it but it's brushed and i think it could be faster and this is a really great esc from tamiya as well but i'm gonna go with the hobby wing so what we need to do now is uh kind of tear down this car just a little bit, maybe clean it up and see if we've got room, if we have to adjust things, what we've got to do. It looks like the stuff's just gonna drop right in and fit, but regardless, I definitely want to, before I put in the new system, you know, give this guy a once over. We've been driving it around pretty hard, maybe clean up some of the stuff, get it all looking spick and span, and then uh, take this system and drop it in here. And then, you know, we're gonna take it outside and do another test and another speed run and see uh, how many miles per hour we gain. I mean, I'm hoping maybe with the brushless system, we're gonna hit like 25. I mean, who knows, maybe it'll go more. 
and maybe it'll go less. Look, as long as we get more than 17, I think we're in really great shape. So anyway, let's uh, start cleaning this guy up, tearing it down, and uh, once that's done, we'll chat about this brushless system before we put it in. So time to take it apart and clean it up. So we got the uh, motor and speed control out. You can see a lot of space in there. It's pretty filthy, but under that gearbox cover was not actually terrible. So um, it did stay relatively clean. We'll just clean most of that up. Got a little bit of dirt and grime in here we gotta get rid of. I need to uh, take this guy off. Get the pinion. Also undone. Mark him over there. Okay, that is a little dirty. We'll have to clean him up. This guy off as well. This guy stayed relatively clean. Get the pinion off. Okay. okay. So here is the brushed torque tuned motor that came with it and the TBLEOS O2S Tamiya brushless uh, electronic speed control. I mean, these are both very good. As you saw, it hit 17 miles an hour. It's a great, great piece of kit to, uh, to come in the kit. Um, but I think it's time to go a little faster. So what we wanna do is put in this uh, hobby wing Easy Run 3652 SLG2. It's a 4000 uh, KV motor. I honestly don't remember what the turn equivalent of a uh, 4000 KV motor to a, a brushed would be. I don't know how many turns it is. 20, 10, 5, 3. No, it's nothing crazy like that. But this is a pretty good motor. I'm a 4000 KV. I think it's going to fit in here really nicely. You know, I'm going to clean this up because this is kind of filthy before we install it. Maybe check everything else out. I mean, there's going to be lots of room because they think this speed control is actually uh, much smaller than the one that came in the kit. Yeah, it's, I mean, not much smaller, but when you look at the two of them together, uh, it definitely has a smaller footprint than the other one. So I'm going to uh, clean this up a little bit more and then uh, we'll get to installing the new speed control and brushless motor in our Tamiya TTO2. So we're gonna do that now, let's do it. That is our brushless system installed in our Tamiya TTO2. All we have to do now is charge up a 2S LiPo battery with a Dean's plug, uh, put it on, turn it on, and take it outside and do a speed run and see how much faster our car is now that it's been upgraded to a brushless system. So let's charge up that battery and let's get it, take it outside and see how fast it is. Still fits. All right, so as soon as that battery is charged, 
we are good to go to take it outside and see what the new speed of our brushless TT02 is. All right, so our battery is fully charged. Let's take a look at how it goes in the car. Racing battery hold down. Slide clips in. Okay. Let's, uh, let's uh, get out a uh, and just in case something goes off. Now we didn't change our receiver, so everything should still be all good and bound. Let's uh, plug this guy in and just him in there like that. Let's turn him on. Okay, we got beeps. We are steering. Whoa, we have speed. I would say it works. Let's put the body on, let's get this thing outside with the GPS on, and let's see how fast it is. Okay, we've definitely messed up our gears. We're gonna check that out, fix what's wrong. But in the meantime, we did get 26 miles an hour. So almost 10 miles an hour, but there is an issue. We, something came off. So let's shut this guy off. Let's take him inside and figure out what's wrong. Uh, we stripped a gear or something. So we'll figure that out, but we did get 26 miles an hour. So a gain of nine miles an hour, but we broke something. So uh, let's take it onto the workbench and see what's up. So we've got good news and bad news. Um, the good news is we gained nine miles an hour um, for, from this brushless system. The bad news is we'd have something really bad happening in our uh, gearbox. Something happened with the mesh. So we have gained uh, nine miles an hour, up to 26 miles an hour. So that is, a, that is pretty cool, but something bad, real bad. Well, maybe not real bad. Sounds really bad is happening inside our TTO2. So we need to uh, take a look and see just what the heck is going on here. Um, it does not, does not sound good at all. I'm hoping the pinion gear just kind of dropped off or, or something uh, simple like that but uh it's too early to tell but definitely uh, it was not making happy happy sounds yeah this guy isn't turning 
Well, now he is. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Let's take this guy apart and see what it looks like inside here. Maybe we've just got uh, too tight of a gear mesh. I'm hoping it's just that simple and we can easily uh, adjust it and we didn't do any permanent damage to anything that's in here. It looks like it looks like our high-speed gear got a little uh, chewed up. Yeah, that's what happened. So I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like our gear mesh slipped, and our high-speed gear set spur gear from Tamiya got chewed up. That is a. Uh, Quite a, quite a bummer. Let's see if we can uh, fix that. Yeah, looks like our gear ratio here got a uh, got a little messed up here. Yeah, that's what's happening. Something happened and chewed up our spur gear. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so, well, <laughs> It looks like we are going to have to look into upgrading our spur gear. I'm not sure if you can see it again, but that spur gear is very, very chewed up and it is catching as it goes around. So we are gonna to need to order a new spur gear. Hopefully we can just get that without having to order an entire uh, high-speed gear set. I will say I'm a tad disappointed because the high-speed gear set I thought was made for this, but. We're going to look into see if we seeing if we can get a uh, maybe a metal spur gear as opposed to this plastic to really um, up the ability for it to take the kind of revolutions that the brushless motor is putting its way. So anyway, that was this video. Thank you as always for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, make sure you subscribe because if you do, you will be alerted as to when the next episode in this TT02 series will be. I am thinking that the next episode will be replacing the spur gear with what I figure out will be our replacement. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be some sort of metal gear, but as of this moment, I don't know. It's time to go to the internet and do some research. If you have an idea of what I could use to replace this, maybe drop, uh, drop it in the comments. Let me know if you've replaced the plastic spur gear in your TTO2 and how that worked out for you. Any of those things would be great because I will take all the help I can get. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.